Musicians Corner on Timeless and Irish with Billy Donegan. It's Musicians Corner where we are spotlighting local singers and entertainers over the summer. None of them have seen a live audience for the past 14 months, so we hope this feature will enable them to reconnect with their fans and vice versa. Our guests today are Fiona, Naomi and Eve, collectively known as the O'Neill Sisters from Causeway. We met up during the week and I first asked them to outline the history of the family band. You can start, Fee, you're the oldest. You were the, you were the beginning. <laughs> you were there first. You were the beginning of it all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say it, it all started with um, our mom and her two sisters. They uh, used to sing in the churches and folk music and they were a three sister group harmony group and then the Corcoran sisters the Corcoran sisters and they sang in LA and they sang all around Ireland and I guess then when mom had the three of us yeah. history started to repeat itself didn't it yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I guess um, well, you I, were born I was born States. in Los yeah. Angeles in California because that's where mom is from and um, she was she spent some of her life here in Ireland but uh, then when she had me she wanted she, she wanted to be back there and dad um, went back with her and then we came home to Ireland and she had Nay me. and then she went back <laughs> again important. we went back again to LA because she was still missing LA and then she decided you know, but then dad <laughs> missed the silage dad missed and Ireland Kerry. <laughs> as so, you do <laughs> and the silage won over the sunshine yeah <laughs> silage over sunshine so then so then after I think I was four and Nay was yeah. like one or two was it yeah and came we came here. came back then to Ireland, and we and Eve was and then born. the best of all was born. They so they saved the best for last. <laughs> Lovely, Fee. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> and um, so then the three of us then we grew up in Ireland and we started doing all our maybe drama. You want to take drama. Yeah. So from there, obviously, because Mom had such a huge love of the arts, we started in Talk Shimsa, which became Shim Satira, the National Folk Theatre of Ireland. We were stuck in that. We were in the Kerry School of Music. Ballet. We were in ballet. We Irish dancing. Yeah, Irish dancing, <laughs> everything. <laughs> so we were constantly, constantly on the road and, and doing um, entertainment and arts and stuff. Um, and then as, as we got older, we met um, the amazing Pat Dunnigan from our own village, who he had known our mom and, and her two sisters, and he'd helped them with music. And he just came along and he said, uh, we, oh, well, I'd love to teach you guys harmonies. He said, and I have a recording studio. Yeah, yeah. he said. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, sold. Yeah he, was, yeah, he was like, I have a recording studio back in the village. And we were like, wow, <laughs> we're going to be Britney Spears. <laughs> and uh, we went back there and he taught, it really, it really set us Helps up for life. Us. Yeah, because yeah. we learned harmonies, we learned recording, we learned Photoshop, fo Photoshop and photography mm -hmm. and everything. So from there, that really kind of set us up on our way. And so from there, we um, won, it was about, when you were about 16, we entered a uh, art for talent competition. And mm -hmm. that was our big moment because there was a big prize of 1,500 pounds at the time. And we did that competition and we won. And we said, Eve wanted to spend and go on a shopping spree. Obviously. The usual. <laughs> well, actually, it wasn't just that we decided to do the competition and we won. Fiona grueled us for the entire summer sure. straight. I was not outside playing with the friends. I was in doing dance moves and rehearsing the harmonies. She yeah. was like Sergeant Major, but it did pay off because yeah. we, we did win. And I was like, oh my God, 1,500 pounds, 500 for me. I am going to buy all these clothes, <laughs> everything I dreamed of. And then I got told, no, we're actually investing it in musical equipment. Yep. And we did. Which and we yeah. still have today and, we and we've used it. Yeah, and can you imagine how that feels to an 11 year old? Now at some stage he went back to America and got involved in the music business over there. We'd been doing a few a few years here in Ireland just performing and like gaining confidence in that form. And we decided one uh, St. Patrick's Day to head on over to New York. No plan whatsoever, but we had a few a CD with a few Irish songs that we'd recorded with Pat Dunnigan. And we were like, yeah, we're just going to go over and see how we get on. So it was a few days before St. Patrick's Day and we ended up in um, the, uh, the one of the main Irish radio stations in New York City 
And we walked up there, walked into the building, <laughs> the high rise building, all the way up to the top with us, me, the three of us, mom and dad, like just like totally oblivious that, you know, you have to have an appointment for these things. And we walked in and we were like, oh, yeah, we're we're here from Ireland and we'd love to sing on the radio station tomorrow. Patrick's Day. <laughs> and they were like, um, you know, girls, we have this booked like, like a year, year in advance. Yeah. And we were like, oh, right. Well, we'll leave you our Pissy. CD. <laughs> <laughs> so we we just left the CD. We didn't expect anything. We were happy to just be on holidays in New York. Um, but when we got back to the apartment we were staying in, there was a phone call and they said, oh, we listened to the CD and we absolutely loved the music on it. And we would love to fit you in on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> and that really was, I think, the big turning point for us because it because it was the main Irish radio station we met we met um, Mike Hanrahan from Stockton's Wing, Ronnie Drew, um, Gene there was Butler. Gene Butler. There was so many um, Irish stars, and we made so many connections. A lot of the Irish American politicians, which ended up getting us an invite for the following year back to sing for the governor's breakfast in the Waldorf Astoria, which was a big event. So that really began our adventures in New York. So when we went back the following year, we, we moved. decided to stay. <laughs> and so we moved over and we began doing music in New York. So then when we went to New York, we were like, oh, let's mix Celtic music with R&B. But um, they didn't quite get what we were Trendy wanting deal. to do. So we just ended up doing straight R&B for how long? We About were three years. years. We did get to walk the red carpet with Tom Cruise. We did. We did. That was kind of the hot, one of the highlights. The highlight. That was, <laughs> yeah. that was a highlight. That was in New York, yeah. And then we went out to L.A. and we started doing more pop music. So it kind of changed slightly again. So we then came back to Ireland and we decided to um, take on that uh, sort of what everyone had been saying. The little bits we'd learned throughout our whole time in America and do a more uh, stripped back album. And that was our first original album, which we ended up winning an award for in Los Angeles, funnily enough, um, for Best Country Folk Album. Yeah. So you came back to your Celtic roots, and uh, that's the cue for a song, if there ever was one. The song is Shanna Golden. Oh, the cold winds from the mountains are calling soft to me. The smell of scented
You fought them, darling, with e all through the summer all day. The summer I heard day. the rifles firing in the mountains far away. I held you in my arms, love. Your blood ran free and bright, and you died and shone a golden. Summer's night, but that was long ago, my love. Now our sun grows fine and tall. The hills they are at peace again. The Saxon strangers gone. There's roses growing on your grave. There's a Shana Golden there, sung by the O'Neill sisters. And that track was recorded this year in the INEC, but without an audience. So tell us what that was like. How that all came about is we'd been working with Celtic Steps, the show, Mm -hmm. um, which I guess transpired from us touring and we eventually got to do residency with Celtic Steps in Tralee in 2019. Yeah. Yeah. The year before in Killarney and then 2019 in Tralee. So um, David Ray of Celtic Steps and Sean Murphy, they obviously, we work a lot with them. So when they were doing um, this show in Killarney in the INEC, um, they said, did we want to be a part of it? As well as Shane O'Driscoll, who's from the INEC, they asked us to be a part of it. And we were like, yes, definitely. Because we hadn't performed. Any it had been like... <laughs> informed that, because we'd the missed, been nearly a whole yeah, year. Yeah. yeah, it had been. We'd missed the whole entire season of performance. So... Um, yeah, it was it was definitely not even a question. We just said yes straight away and yep. it was just to really be on the stage. <laughs> it was really strange the f- even walking into the INEC and having absolutely no no one. nobody there. It was so weird. <laughs> and even being on stage and recording and not having an audience mm. and like after every song, you know, you you're on stage and nothing. Yeah. After you finish the song. It's kind of fine when you're performing the song cuz you're yeah. you're in your zone yeah. and then then you finish and you know it's, Crickets. it's always great to get like the feedback because yeah. you, you feed off the energy, you know, it's like an exchange and then... Nothing. Well, and because even <laughs> let's say, you know, we, we have the same thing when we do Facebook Lives, but we have an interaction where the yeah. fans are writing into us and we can talk back to them, yeah. where it was like nothing when we were on stage. Yeah. So yeah, it was definitely, definitely different. <laughs> different. Now, your latest release is a collaboration with uh, Peter Hollins. So tell us how that came about. I was following Legendary Vocals, that's one of his pages, where he had artists from all over the internet, the best vocalists from all over the internet, singing different songs. And I one morning woke up and decided, I wonder could we be on this? And of course went in and and saw, yes, we're accepting requests for this page. So I said, I sent off, you raised me up and red as the rose. We didn't hear nothing, we didn't hear anything, I'd say for a really long time. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere he wrote to us and said, I'm going to put your um, Red, is the Red is the Rose on Legendary Vocals this Friday. Are you ready for it? And we we're like, yeah. okay. <laughs> um, and he did. And that went viral. So that was a really big, was um, big yeah. boost for us. Yeah. At the end of the year, again, all these opportunities started to come in at the same time Around with the Christmas INEC time. and then yeah. Peter. And he said, uh, do you, we, let's do a song together. And, and he's actually putting an album of our songs together and putting it out in, in Legendary Vocals later on in the year. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's how, that's how that came about. So let's have a listen to that. Peter Hollins and the O'Neill sisters and Loch Lomond. By on Bonnie Banks and by on Bonnie Brace Where the sun shines bright on Loch Lomond Where me and my true love will never meet again on the bunny, bunny banks of Loch Roman. Oh, you take the high road and I'll take the low road and I'll be in Scotland afore ye. But me and my 
my true love will never meet again on the bonny, bonny banks of Loch Lomond. Twas there that we parted in yon shady glen on the steep, steep sides of Ben Lomond, where in soft purple hue. Song by Peter Hollins and the O'Neill sisters, and there are a few people you want to say hello to. I'd like to say, start by saying hello to my little son Wills, <laughs> and our mom and our dad. Hi, Wills. And thank Hi, you for and all the support yeah. over the years. Mm-hmm. Um, and of course, we, all our fans that are on Facebook and Patreon and that continue to, to support, support us. us, they're so so good. Yeah. And hello to everyone who has passed through and our lives <laughs> down through the years and was a part of our musical, musical journey. journey. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to the O'Neill sisters for being our guest today on Musicians Corner. We're going to combine the feature with some of our hospital and nursing home requests. So hello to Donny O'Connor, St. Columban is home in Killarney. Thanks to the medical staff and carers who look after Donny and the other residents so well. From Mary O'Connor and family in Killoglin and the Clifford family in Beaufort. Best wishes to Mary Burdens and Mary Sugru in Cool Deedon from Helen and Josephine. Hope to see you soon. Next Sunday on Musicians Corner, we will feature Eddie Lee from Ballyhaig, someone who has been in the music business for nearly as long as myself. Musicians Corner on Timeless and Irish with Billy Donegan.